Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going all the way to Notre Dame. Ooh. I always thought it was Notre Dame, but then I, I realize it's Notre Dame. But I feel like it's one of those words that is French, and so it kind of feels like you're putting on a fake French accent when you say, he's like, <laughs> would you like a croissant? You know, like one of those like heavily accented. Anyway, hi, how are you doing? Uh, a good friend of ours, actually, well, I mean, we've never met Seth, but we've watched <laughs> his videos. Uh, Seth Lavender created a pin tag for the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And uh, so we are participating in it because we were tagged and those by law are the rules. <laughs> I did not realize that it's been 25 years since that movie came out. I didn't either. I'm, d I'm trying to remember the last time I saw that film. I think I've seen that film exactly once. I remember at... I don't think they'd changed the name yet. I think it was still Disney's MGM Studios. There was a Hunchback of Notre Dame stage show back over near where they eventually built the Stunt Spectacular show, which is now, of course... Uh, Galaxy's Edge, but um, that area back there, there was a, a a great Hunchback of Notre Dame stage show. It was really good. There's not a lot of Hunchback presence in the parks. No, uh, happily ever after is pretty much the. He goes up and he rings the bell. Disney anyway, bring back fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you're gonna have to read me through these prompts because uh, if if we look different to you right now, it's because we're using a different camera setup. We're just trying something different. We may keep it. We may not. We don't know. Uh, if you like it or if you hate it and you want our old camera set up back, let us know in the comments. Let us know, yeah. Uh, and it may just be that we'll keep this camera but move it back some because right now I think it's it, it zooms in weird. I don't know. It's not it, blah, 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 blah. What is the first pin that we're supposed to? How many are there? 11? There are 12. 12. The first prompt is the bells of Notre Dame. Yes. Share a pin with a dangling element. Now... Why? Why is dangling for bells? Because bells dangle oh, from okay. ceilings and belfries and whatnot. So if you look behind us, we have thousands of pins. <laughs> we don't have a lot with dangles on them. So it was really, we had to like, and then we realized that, well, the entire Magic of Honor series are basically dangles, right? They're on its yes. So this series here. So we have chosen the great movie ride dangling, uh, Magic of Honor. Yeah, Magic of Honor pen. So, Speaking of, you know, rides at MGM Studios. That's right. And rides that people I, really miss. An opening day attraction at Disney MGM Studios. It wasn't that good. It was never that good of a ride. I don't understand why people love that ride so much. It was just yours. Totally contingent upon the cast member being a good actor. And so few of them were. In that and film. I'm counting the minutes until our subscriber count goes down. No, I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. E is for eternal damnation. Ooh. Share an educational pin. I love that we're conflating education with eternal damnation. That's that's uh, it's got to make you feel good. You have a master's degree. I, yes. Mm -hmm. So am I eternally damned or something? Clearly. So what do you got? We have. This is not. It's a lounge fly pin. Okay. Yeah. So this is a lounge fly pin, lounge fly pin, so you mm -hmm. won't find it in the parks. But we have this cute pin of Stitch reading with the ducks. Yeah. He's teaching those ducks about things because he knows so much. So Stitch is very smart. Well, he is. He's just smart in non-human things. So uh, what's next? One day out there. Share a pin featuring the outdoors. So that is the song that isn't happily ever out there. I'll be one day out there. I had to, I had to go and sing it in my head. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so for the outdoor, we have a lot of pins that have outdoors on them. Uh, but we have chosen the Puppy Day pin. Uh, this has got uh, a bunch of baby puppies on it. it. Looks like baby Bolt, baby Percy, baby uh, Dalmatian of some form. <laughs> Is that maybe baby, baby Lady? I don't know. It could be baby Nana. I don't know. That whole Muppets baby thing just ruined the whole baby market. Anyway, I, I don't make me. Don't make me pull out the. <laughs> the creepy white princess baby. Anyway, puppy, <laughs> National Puppy Day outdoors. The uh, puppies enjoying the outdoors. There you go. 
I we we're we're not taking a very hunchback tack with this. I'm sorry. I don't think we, we don't. Have, I don't think we own a single hunchback pen. Do we uh, no, that's true. We have Jolly. Oh, we have two Jollies actually. We have two Jolly pens over there. Next is Topsy Turvy. Everything is oopsie daisy. <gasps> Ooh. Share a pin that rotates or spins or can be featured upside down. Now, we have a lot of pins that spin and a lot of them that rotate, but we chose this particular one. It is from Halloween of 2019, and it features Yzma, and she spins mm-hmm. yeah. to be a cat. To be Cat Yzma, which we also have pins of Cat Yzma around yes. here. So, yeah. So that is that one. No, put that here in the discard pile. Otherwise, oh, I won't me. remember which one is which. <laughs> By the way, great mask. Share a mask or costume pin. So a mask or costume pin. This one was, you know, you go to Halloween. We have a lot of Halloween pins that, uh, you know, characters in different costumes and everything. But there was a mystery pin set uh, back in 2019-ish that was the disguise set, right? So it was... It had, uh, I think it actually had some Hunchback mm, characters in maybe. there. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, and from Mulan characters when they were dressed up like geishas. And so, mm. Anyway, so it's like a character. Uh, so you got two pins in the set. One of them was regular. One of them was in disguise. This is the disguise from that. This is a Dalmatian. I believe this is Lucky. Who is, no, that's not Lucky. Looks more like Rolly. Anyway, that is uh, in the movie. If you've seen the movie, he is trying to disguise himself by pretending like he's just a gray uh, like a greyhound or something like uh, by with, you know not a Dalmatian so speaking of movies with Dalmatians Cruella was very good we did we saw Cruella it was a it was a movie that we saw it has plot holes the size of a Mack truck but the fashion deserves an Oscar I I, I truly enjoyed the acting performances that everyone gave in that film I, I felt like it was a lot of really good actors I realize that when you do prequels, you don't have a lot of leeway to go with a lot of material. In my opinion, if they had just taken out a couple of references, a couple of wink, wink references, <laughs> uh, you know, oh, she made a coat out of my dog. And, you know, okay. It's like, if you take out some of those references, I felt it would have been better. Like treat the audience. Like maybe they, you know, know something. So <laughs> next is soup. Justice. Justice. With an exclamation point. Yes. Share a pin about inclusion. Inclusion. Which is very appropriate given that we're filming this in June. In June. Pride month. In my day, it was just like Pride Day. And then when the corporation started getting involved, it was Pride Week. And now it's Pride Month. It's like it's just grown to this this thing. Uh, what do we got? Oh, you did the last yeah, one. Yeah, I did the last one. So <laughs> this is a pin uh, from the Fairy Tales event. Mm-hmm. Um and I liked it because it's got all sorts of characters in it, and they're all together on the same pin, mm-hmm. and everybody's getting along, and everybody's happy. Yeah. This was the auction winner pin from the previous event. That auction winner got to help design a pin for the next event, and this was the pin that they helped design. So, And it's signed by the artist. Yeah. Although not the winner of the contest. No, they weren't there. Yeah. Or they may, they may have been there. And we are getting a pin event this year. Another virtual Another one. Another virtual, yeah, those don't count. Which yeah. means we'll buy the merchandise and not actually attend any of these. I, just, I'm just, I hope we can get another in-person pen event soon. Yes. Okay, what do we got? Uh, sanctuary. Share a pin that makes you feel safe at home. So this one you got to kind of have to go out there with us on this one because I'm not really sure, you know, what we could have pulled for, for this. Like safe at home. You know, there's a lot of things that it could be like the Avengers. They protect us. But uh, since Disney World is kind of our second home, we love going there. We know a lot of cast members. We have a lot of friends that are cast members. We have a lot of friends that we meet at Disney that come from all over the country. Um, so it's kind of a, so we chose a cast member pin. This one particular one here is one for Flick, uh, who is a good buddy of ours. Um, but, uh, actually he's not, we don't know Flick. No, no we, we don't. Stole, we stole his name badge. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a cast member pin. So that's what we chose for, for that. There. Next is Fly My Pretties Fly. Share a pin that features a bird. A bird. Now you can probably see in the background there, there's a thousand orange bird pins back there. And a thousand tiki room pins mm-hmm. and. But we went with a discontinued bird. Who is associated with the Tiki Room? He was. He was the, is the original. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm taking so, your thunder. This is the Barker Bird mm-hmm. 
from the Disneyland only or Disney no, World? He was, he I was remember. Here? I remember him here. It in was Walt the Disney Enchanted World, Tiki yes. Room under new management? No, no, no. This was the original Tiki Room, uh, which was open in both parks, uh, California and Florida. And this Barker Bird was high up in the uh, thing giving uh basically trying to get people to come into the tiki bears like, you know come see the great tiki show and everything. unfortunately it was very very racist <laughs> it was a bunch of white people doing fake accents like very stereotypical kind of accents and making very stereotypical jokes about you know how lazy his brother juan is and it was it was it it went away. I, I wish they would have kept him and maybe just updated the material to be less problematic. But mm. yeah, because yeah. now all you get is that Aladdin's flying carpet. Well, here in Florida, you get that Aladdin's flying carpet, which needs some oil because that thing squeaks. <laughs> like you can hear that thing squeaking from inside Pirates. It's like uh, that's pretty rare. What, what's our next one? Next one is uh, and since you're safe. In and since you're shaped like a croissant. Uh, share a pin that features baked goods or desserts. Okay, uh, hopefully on the close-up I'll be able to open this because it won't open further than this, but it's the it's the Epcot, the 2020 Epcot pin, the gingerbread pin, and we have ginger... We have ginger. We have ginger? Ginger spice? Yeah. We have figment flying over the gingerbread cap, which we actually went and saw that gingerbread yes. capital, yeah, so... Uh, this is soulless figment flying over the uh, the gingerbread house. Uh, hopefully on the close-up I could open that pin because this is not, it won't open past there. But I think it's because of the cardboard backing. So Next is... And it's got glitter on it, which means now glitter's on everything. Thank you. Yes, sorry. Next is Achilles heel. Mm -hmm. Share a pin of a horse or a person who rides horses. We happen to have the best horse in all of Disney. Mm -hmm. We have Maximus. Maximus. And that is also from the fairy tales set. That is uh, it's from that. I, I I'm I always feel like the things that I know about Disney, everyone knows about Disney. So forgive me if you, if you already know this because I I kind of but I don't know if this is widely known or not. But if you're going to the Tangled bathrooms at the kingdom so you're between small world and haunted mansion the uh the rapunzel's towers there and it's, it's just bathrooms it, it used to be the area where the sky bucket let off in, in fantasy land but if you're over there look down on the ground and you will see maximus hoof prints and you'll also see apple cores laying around because you know that Ax uh, maximus loves apples so there you go in case you also there's there's hidden uh, pascals all around that area so. Yes. I don't, have we found them all? No. We found some of them. Who is the monster and who is the man? Mm -hmm. Share a pin that features inner beauty. Inner beauty. Well, you know, we watched Bambi a long time ago. It was terrible. And uh, so we have Flower. Flower was uh, uh, a skunk. I mean, skunks aren't beautiful. Skunks are a uh, skunk, right? Nobody wants to have a skunk. But Flower, everybody loves Flower. So because he has he or she... He, I think she, was a she. He, I don't remember. They have inner beauty. Finally, hellfire. Yes. Share a pin you've been chasing for a long time and finally have. Yes. So this was a pin that we got. So uh, backing up. <laughs> when we when we moved to Florida from Georgia and we got our Florida residence passes and stuff. I, I'm from Florida originally, so I have been to Disney many, many times. Zach was new to the whole thing. And so we kind of started our pin collection kind of around this time, mm -hmm. and we didn't fully grok the whole festival pins of they sell out in the first day. If there's a pass holder pin that you really want, it's going to sell out the first day. you got to have to be there opening day of a festival to get those pins. And mind you, I don't know how true that is anymore, but it was true in 2019. <laughs> it was If it's a popular pin, yeah. it, it's going to go. So uh, anyway, so this was a pin, uh, the, the um, what was it? The Festival of the Arts. Yes. I don't think we made it to the Festival of the Arts that, that year. Or if we did, we went like right a near week the or end two of after it. opening yeah. or something. But it turns out that one of the pens was a Pluto pen, and I really wanted it. And Zach was kind enough to get it for me for Christmas uh, on, you know, track tracking it down and i'm sure paying way too much on it so i've it's your pin but i, I mean it's your pin to show and i've like <laughs> we didn't plan this out very well because i feel like we should have that's okay so 
This is the Pluto pass holder pin from the 2019 Festival of the Arts. Yeah, featuring Pluto. Who is the best. The bestest dog, all. yeah. Anyway, there you go. That is the uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. What's the title of this pin? The Pin Tag of Notre Dame. The Pin Tag of Notre Dame. Uh, anyway, thank you, Seth Lavender, for creating this pin tag. Yes, and thank you for tagging us in it. We we always like to get tagged in pin tags because that means it's easy stuff for us to do. Uh, especially since we can't do as much content. I, if we get some pin trading back, we'll actually be able to go do some pin trading content, and that yes. would be great. Uh, in the meantime, however, we are going to tag a couple of channels, and let's do that now. So, we would like to tag... Crazy Kylie 14. Crazy Kylie 14. Who, by the way, was just here at uh, Disney, didn't message us, didn't say anything, didn't. In May, <laughs> Zach's birthday month. Zach's birthday month, Kylie was here. It didn't, didn't reach out to us at all. He's totally just kidding. Didn't, didn't, you know, whatever. Fine. I get it. I get it. Uh, and uh, we'd also <laughs> like to tag, who are we tagging, Dan? Or. No. Robin. Robin. We're taking out Robin from Oh Hello Robin. Uh, if if you are not a member of the Oh Hello Robin's pin group on Facebook, what are you doing? Uh, what are you really doing with your life? You need to go over there and join the Oh Hello Robin pin group over on, uh, Facebook. on Facebook. It's really fun. It's so yes, we will tag uh, Robin who and uh, Rod can come along if he shows duplicates of pens that she picks. <laughs> so. And that's uh, that's all we have for you today. That is. Uh, if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Click on the have... subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, we are still slowly <laughs> inching towards a thousand. We're, we're never going to make it. We're going to get to nine ninety nine and just, uh, just and then somebody's going to fall back. Just like, <laughs> we just keep going between like what is it nine thirty six and nine thirty seven and then oh nine thirty seven oh no nine thirty seven oh nine thirty nine thirty six. So you know if you have twenty friends that don't know about our channel then uh you know send them a link that helps out so um <laughs> if you have questions comments concerns mm -hmm. uh let us know in the comments yeah and we'll uh, we'll get back to you and by we zach will and uh if you want to reach out to us on the socials our information is down below in that doobly do so until next time see you real soon why, why am i doing this no, i just but yeah <laughs>